You know, we're, I know it's a local problem. You had someone die when, it's just yesterday. yesterday. Um, I can't remember what your number of deaths were last year. Do you, do you remember? I don't know a number. I know we've had three just in the last couple of months. We've had three heroin deaths in the last like, three months. Uh, I mean, what's really changed since I've been doing this is two things, really. One is heroin. Heroin used to be, you'd think heroin would be in Toledo, it would be in Dayton, it would be in Cincinnati, it would be in Columbus. Uh, when I was a Green County prosecutor, you know, we'd say it's over, it's over in Dayton. It's a hardcore group of, you know, kind of pitiful addicts. And, and, but now, you know, it's, it's everywhere. I mean, it's in every single county of the state. Uh, we think the number from talking to coroner's offices, where all the numbers are in for 2013, we think the number is probably going to be in the neighborhood of about 900 direct deaths. And then there's probably another seven or 800 indirect deaths just from here on alone. So it's, I mean, you're not, you're not alone here. I mean, it's every single county has <coughs> uh, got a problem. Um, I, I, was, I was telling before you all came in, uh, one of the things that we do with our new heroin unit um, we have people who will go out to the local local communities um, and, and share what other counties have done as far as grassroots efforts. Um, because I'm convinced that no matter how good these guys are, and no matter what we do uh, as far as law enforcement is concerned, ultimately, uh, you know, we can't arrest our way out of the problem. Uh, we've got to have local citizens groups uh, who have gotten mad, who have come together uh, and, you know, who are working on prevention, working in the schools, uh, working with the churches, just where the whole community comes together and, and makes an effort to, to deal with that. And we've seen some counties where it's worked very, very well. Uh, down along the Ohio River in Scioto County, uh, there's a, a citizens group, uh, what are they called? Solace. Solace. And every time I go to the county, they're there. I mean, they're out in force, and they go into the school, and they work with the churches, and they do all, the, all these things. And really, really, that citizen involvement as far as prevention um, doesn't mean you totally get rid of heroin, doesn't mean you totally get rid of prescription drug problem, but uh, they've made a big difference. They've actually turned those numbers around. Um, so, you know, we're more than happy to have Jennifer come and got any group of folks and um, we'll get her over here and she won't tell you what to do but she'll tell you what's happened in other in other communities but uh, you know, heroin is, is cheap uh, it's brought in f uh, from Mexico uh, it lands in the, in the big cities uh, where's most of yours coming out of you think come out of Toledo or where's it coming from? Toledo <coughs> Toledo and Dayton. And Dayton, yeah, sure. Yeah. And we talked before, too, and I know you're aware, not only is it out there, there's some, some uh, for lack of a better term, really bad heroin, some stuff that's laced with some deadly, I think, fentanyl, and we think that might have something to do with some of the deaths we've had. And as much as we don't want anybody to use heroin at all, I mean, even the users need to be aware that they're right. getting into stuff that's going to kill them. For that yeah, and you know, every once in a while, I, I will hear that there's some heroin that's laced with something else, and you start seeing people just die. I mean, just big quantities of people die. I mean, enough die just with, from heroin, but then you lace it with stuff. So very, very, very uh, sad. You know, the other problem is it's almost a, it becomes an economic problem. We've got people in the state who can't pass a drug test. You know, with, with prescription drugs, or it's marijuana, or it's it's heroin, or it's something. You talk to employers, and they'll tell you, you know, I'll bring in ten people, and three or four of them can't pass the drug test. So that's a permanent group of individuals in society. Uh, as long as they're addicts, they're never going to find, you know, meaningful meaningful work. They're just going to be a subgroup that's not going to be able to do anything except steal and feed their heroin out.
and I don't think people realize. I mean, we've always had we have this uh, multi uh, area narcotics unit that does does a great job with uh, you know, investigation and enforcement, but you know, continues in in a small area like ours to still be a huge problem. Yeah.